to see you. Welcome to Focus Kids Online. My name is Sarah and I'm here from Harbour Church, Portsmouth. And I have got an action-packed Focus Kids episode planned for you today. Are you excited? So we are so sad that we can't be together at Focus Kids because it's our highlight of the year. So I've decided we are going to have a holiday at home because we can travel all around the country without even leaving your house. How can we do that? I hear you ask. Well, as you can see, I've got my tent ready and I'm going to go on a summer holiday. So I've got my lay here and I've got some sunglasses. And the best part of Focus Kids is that we are one network and we are one family. So we can go all over the country to visit all the different churches. But that is tiring work. So I think you need a drink and a snack before we get started. Have you got that? Well, what we're gonna do, well, maybe while you're getting your drink and snack, is that we are gonna travel the whole country in about 30 seconds. Are you ready? So if you see your church, maybe give a shout, give a cheer. In three, two, one, let's go. of the country. Did you spot your church? We loved having everyone get involved in Focus Kids. And at Focus Kids, one of my favorite parts is all of the different games we play together. But obviously that is not gonna stop just because we are online. So we are gonna play a giant game of charades and we're gonna get started here at Harbour Church, Portsmouth. So I've got my friends, Sophie and Bolt the Bear. Hey guys. So we are gonna do a big game of charades that's gonna go all over the country. Are you guys ready at home? So what we're gonna do is these guys are gonna act out a summertime activity. Let's give it a go. Okay guys, we're gonna start off with our first charade. I hope you guys get this one at home. If you do, shout it out. So Bolt, are you ready? Let's do this. Oh, oh. That summertime activity was, of course, tennis. I hope you guys got that at home. Now, let's head over to the next church. We're going to jump on over in three, two, one. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Isaac. I'm Luke. And I'm Philip. And we're from Ascension, Ascension Church. Church. We're going to do a charade for you guys. Can you guess what this activity is? Did you guys guess what that activity was? That's right, Philip was swimming and he got eaten by a shark. Okay, we're gonna go on to our next church. Here we go. Hello, I'm Hannah from St. Swithin's Church in Lincoln. Are you ready for your charade? Shout it out when you know what summer activity I'm doing. Ready? Ice cream. Are you ready to move on to our next place? Let's jump in three, 
Three, two, one. Hello, I'm Leif St. Matthias in Plymouth. Are you ready for your next charade? Shout out when you know what summertime activity I'm acting out. Guess right, I'm having a barbecue. Are you ready to jump to your next place? Let's jump. Three, two, one, go! Hello, I'm Abby from Citizen Church Cardiff. Are you ready for your charade? Now, you have to try guess what summer activity we're acting out. Gerard, when you can guess it, shout out which summertime activity you think we are doing. Should we do it? Let's go. Yes. Can you guess? Have you got it? That's right, it's a sandcastle. Well done, and that was our final charade. So, are you ready to jump back to Sarah in three, two, one, go! Whoa, you guys were so good at that game. How did you get on? I could hear some of you shouting the answers all the way from down here. And now we are going to move on to a really exciting part of Focus Kids. It's one of my highlights of Focus when we all worship together. And we worship to God because we want him to know how much we love him and how thankful we are for him. And we can do that through singing really loudly, also singing really quietly, also doing lots of dancing and actions. So I'm going to pass you on to one of my favourite people who's going to lead us in a worship warm. Up. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi guys, my name's Rochelle and I'm so excited to be here with you at Focus Kids. Now, we're going to do some worship together, but first, I think we need to do some warm-ups. It's really sad we can't be all together at Focus this year, but let's pretend we're on a holiday. So first, I think we need to get on our airplanes. Oh, that's a great stretch, everyone. Oh, great airplanes at home. And now we're going to build some sandcastles. Oh, lovely. And now I think we're going to do some swimming. Oh, great job, guys. And now we're going to do a really big jump because we're just so excited to be here at Focus Kids Online. Two. Three. Whoa, that was a really big jump. I think we can do it a little bit better. Okay, guys, let's go. In three, two, one. Whoa, you went so high. Well done, everyone. Okay, we're going to sing some songs now. I'm going to hand over to my friends, Cara and Matt. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. 
In the silence you won't let go In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, oh. You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. Love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. You are my light, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. Shining in the darkness, I will follow you. When you got not a lot, what? Be happy. Gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around. I'm gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd. Gonna send my praise to heaven. Gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around. I'm gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd. When you got not a lot, what? Be happy. I'm gonna.
gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, I'm gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna death in the crowd, I'm gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, I'm gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna death in the crowd, I'm gonna send my praise to heaven. everyone i know that god loves it when we sing to him and we all have different actions so don't worry if you're doing your own actions to one of those songs it's great that we can all be joining together worshiping god all over the country how amazing is that and i know that god also loves it when we have lots of fun so i asked some of my friends from london to see if they could lead us in a fun game let's take a look <laughs> to be with you today for Focus Kids Games. Are you ready? Yes, I'm Joe. this is Kate, and we're going to be playing some awesome games. Let's introduce you to our fun Focus contestants. Let's go. <coughs> Hi, I'm Bethany. Hi, I'm Tobin. Hi, I'm Liam. Part one of our game is we need to have our sleeping bags ready to go camping. So we've got our contestants ready in their sleeping bags. Joe, can you tell us the rules? Simple, classic game. Everyone in their sleeping bags, they're gonna to hop to this bench and hop back. First one back wins. So let the race. Let's go. Go ahead. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> Our winner today was Toby! Toby! Woo! Well done! Wait, is that? So for our next game, we're gonna be making something that reminds you of focus out of. Marshmallows. marshmallows. You've got to have marshmallows at focus when you're roasting them over a campfire. So we are going to make our own focus models out of marshmallows. You've got some marshmallows and water and you've got to make your own statue. And you've got one minute. That's are we it. ready to go? I think that's a good time. Let's go. Three, two, one, go! go. So Tobin, what are you going for here? I'm making a campfire and it's really weird. What's Marsh your technique? Are you using any water? No, just, just marshmallows. That's it, he's bossing it, going around to Beth. What are you doing over here? What are you making? I'm trying to make um, a tent. A tent? It's, but it's failing. It. Are you using any water? Yeah, I am. All my marshmallows are soggy. Good job. And Liam, it's looking huge. What are you making? Something random. <laughs> Which tent. is? A tent. Tent. Could be the big top because it's so big. Yeah, it's probably going to be the big one. Love that. Make sure you use all of them. We're going to count you down. Five, four, four three, two, one. one. OK, yeah. let's have a look. What have we got over here? Tobin, can you oh, talk yeah, yeah. us through your beautiful, beautiful... <laughs> what is Drop. it? This is a masterpiece. Um, this is a campfire. Nice and warm. Don't touch it. Um, a campfire full of marshmallows? Yeah, don't yeah. touch it. It's nice. warm. Um, it's Hot. sticky. Very sticky. Very good. OK, Bethany. Statue number two, talk us through. What have you made? I failed to make a tent. What is it instead? It looks beautiful. Um, it looks like, it looks like a it's the walled garden. The walled garden! Yeah, it's the walled garden. So good. so good. And Liam, what have you made? The youth tent. The youth tent, amazing. Liam, to be honest, I think this looks most like a tent at focus. So our winner for this game is Liam! Woo! <laughs> 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 okay, it is time for our tiebreaker now. Tobin was the winner of our sleeping bag game. Liam was the winner of our marshmallow game. So it's tiebreaker time between Liam and Tobin. We have two balloons here, one of which is the winning balloon and one of which is the losing balloon. Now boys, I'd like you to pick a number one or two and you get to choose which balloon you're gonna have, but don't turn around, don't look. Okay, Tobin, you can go first. Which number do you want? Uh, I'll take two. Okay, Liam? You are having one. That means we are this way around. Put your hands up in the air. Can you hold on to this balloon? I cannot feel Can a you balloon. Hold on to the balloon. Okay. No. I'm going to pop these over your head. The winner is the balloon that is full of glitter. Are you ready? Should we count down? Three, two, one. Oh! 
Thanks so much, Kate. What a fun game. Did you guys play along at home? Here at Focus Kids, we love to ask the big questions. Those questions all about who Jesus is. Why are we here? And then we also love to know what you have for breakfast this morning. And so what we did is we asked a few kids from all over the country, what have you been up to in lockdown? And if you could go anywhere, where would you be? So why not talk to your parents at home and let's see how some other kids got on. And then we asked a few familiar faces about what they're doing in lockdown. Take a look. Well, I've been doing surgery on the spare. Mm -hmm. During lockdown, I, I did home learning and I learned how to ride my bicycle. Um, so I've been spending time with our guinea pigs and we've gone on a few bike rides. Well, I've been playing in Lego and I've been building Lego. Um, to New Zealand because they have no rules anymore because no one has coronavirus there. Thank you. Focus! Yeah. I'd probably like to go to Ireland to meet my relatives up there. I would go explore the world and go to the south of France and with my family. If I could go anywhere in the world right now, I would go to Alton Towers. It's near where my grandma lives. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. You should not be meeting friends. If your friends ask you to meet, you should say no. You should say no. You should say no. Day one on Buzz's social distancing journey. No school, no trips to see long lost family we don't actually want to see. I'm gonna have the best time doing all the things that I want to do. It's gonna be the best time ever. It's like holiday, but at home. I won't go outside. I can social distance. I don't care how long. Somehow I'll be strong. I would do most anything to keep my sanity Day one is almost completed Space Ranger. I've learned so many new skills already. I'm going to teach myself how to make the perfect sourdough loaf next time. And surely in a few weeks time we'll be back with our friends. Best thing ever! <laughs> It's day 22 of lockdown. Now, obviously, I was trapped in a tower for a really, really long time. So this is nothing. I've made a schedule for every day. Let me show you. Will I survive so I'll read a book or maybe two or three? I'll add a few new pages to my gallery. Play guitar and knit and cook it basically. Just wondering when will Corona rain? Well, it's fun being at home and having so much more time to brush my hair. I'm starting to get a little bit bored. When can we go outside? Why isn't anything changing? Oh, 
Well, hi guys, have you all had the exciting news? We're now allowed unlimited exercise. So do you know what that means? I can be reunited with the beach again, with my home. It will be like going on holiday again. Let's get down to business. Time to go outside. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. I've been running round my room all day, running out of things to do. Now it's time I can leave, so can you. Breathing in the fresh air. Anything is better than Zoom. I must get ready. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Wash your hands before you eat, Sherry. Protect the NHS. I baked bread, sourdough. Cute for hours at Tesco. Tried banana bread, it's delicious. Might have been a bit ambitious. All my friends will be here soon. Can't handle another quiz on Zoom But it's dinner really is going to be the best My friends, with your assistance We can social distance Max six guests are a bit stressed Be our guest Oh my friends, my friends Thank you so much for coming to my dinner party I call it alfresco dining Because we have to eat outside But we have got beautiful weather Oh, this isn't the summer I expected. I just want to go on holiday. Yeah, I miss my friends, Woody, Bullseye. Why can't I see them? Oh, look, we can all sit here whining about what we can and can't do. But look, 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 the, the thing is, this may not be the summer that we had planned, but things won't always be like this. It will get better. What are you talking about? We've been waiting for ages. I just want things to go back to normal. Every time I get my hopes up that I can do something, I just get let down. Ah, but we must have hope. And there is someone we can put our hope in who will never let us down. That's very kind of you, Lumia. I do pride myself in being a very loyal friend. You've all got a friend in me. Ah, uh, actually, it is not about Monsieur Buzz I was talking this time. I was talking about a man named Jesus. You see, I've been doing a lot of reading and I've read that we can put our hope in him. He will never let us down. And he loves us and he wants us to love each other. He says we are his family. What do you mean? I'm a girl, you're a candlestick. And you're just a toy. I beg your pardon. So no, what at least I'm not scared. Do it. I just think you're all being a bit narrow. Ecoute! What I'm saying is, we might not look the same, we might not think the same, but God says we are part of his family. <sighs> I'm going to need some help here. Why don't you get comfy? Why don't you get comfy? And we're going to listen about this man who loves us, who will never let us down, and who gives us each other to be family. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel a bit like those characters at the moment. I feel a bit lost, a bit confused about what's going on. I just want to see my friends or hang out with you guys at Focus Kids. But as Lumiere said, there is still hope and his name is Jesus. We asked some of you to say about who you thought Jesus is. Let's take a look. He's someone who died on the cross for our sins. 
He did miracles and he is the saviour of the whole wide world. Jesus is a man who died on the cross and led disciples and saved the world. Once at a wedding there was no wine left and he made some wine without, with, with water. His birthday is on Christmas so that's why we celebrate Christmas. He loves me and, um, and cares for me. He is everything. I love hearing all of those different things that Jesus is to you. And you know what? He is here right now with us. No matter if we're not at focus this year or if we didn't go to school, Jesus is with you right now. And he is there and he promises that he will never leave you or forsake you. And do you know what? There is a story in the Bible about the disciples who were Jesus' friends. And you know what? They were feeling really hopeless because they had just seen Jesus go to die on the cross. They felt like their hope had gone. And do you know what? They even locked themselves in a room because they felt so sad and hopeless. But do you know what happened? We know the ending. Jesus rose from the dead and he conquered death for you and for me and for those disciples right there. And he went into that locked room and he said, I am here and I am with you. We might feel like the disciples at the moment. We might feel a bit hopeless. We don't know what's happening in the next few weeks, the next few months, when we'll go back to church, when we'll go back to school. But we have hope that Jesus is alive and he is with you. Now I want you to say this verse with me. It's from 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 and it says, cast all your cares on him for he cares for you. And actually, you give yourself a big hug because that's saying that God wants to take all of our worries because he cares for you. So can you say it really loudly with me? We're gonna say, cast your cares on him for he cares for you. And do you know what? He says that we can speak to him at any time and we can speak to him right now. We don't need to be in focus. We don't need to be in a tent full of people. Jesus wants to speak to you right now, whether you're watching in your living room or your bedroom, whether you're watching really early in the morning or really late at night, though you should maybe go to bed. Whoa, Jesus wants to talk to you. And we do this through prayer because he says that we can cast all our cares, give all of those things that worry us to him, those things that make us sad, those things that we don't know, that we're uncertain on that we're just not sure. Jesus says, give that to me. So what I want you to do is imagine that you've got this ball in you. Can you hold the ball for me? I want you to think about something that may be making you a bit sad at the moment. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it to God. Are you ready? You got that ball of something maybe that's scaring you, worrying you, we're gonna throw it to God in three, two, one. Whoa! And do you know what? He promises that he is gonna catch that. And he wants to chat to us. So in a moment, we're gonna get the worship team back and we're gonna sing a song. And this song says that you're never gonna let me down. And we're gonna sing that because we know that Jesus will never let us down. And you know what? You might see adults put their hands out like this, or maybe even some of your friends when they're praying. And do you know why they do that? It's because that God is promising to, that he is chatting back to us and that he's throwing, whether it's words or pictures or even just a reminder, this warm, fuzzy feeling that you are loved. Because do you know what God says about you? God says that you are seen, that you are important and that you are amazing. How amazing is that? God says that about you not just about the person down the road. He says that about you watching right now. So we're gonna go into worship and what you could do in this song is close your eyes and put your hands out like this. And what I want you to do is I want you to say to God, hi God, he loves chatting to us. So just say hi and say, I love you to talk to me. And then close your eyes and just imagine having a conversation with Jesus. And if you hear something, maybe sometimes it might be we get a fuzzy feeling, maybe it's a word, sometimes it's a picture, 
why not turn to maybe your parent or someone else in the room and let them know? And we can pray and thank God for speaking to us. And if you don't feel anything, that's also okay. What we can do is we can sing and we can remind ourselves as we say it over again, you're never going to let me down. So I'm just going to pray for us and then we're going to go into worship. I'm going to say, dear God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that when we feel a bit hopeless or a bit scared about the future, that you promise to be with us. You say that we are seen, you say that we are lovely, and that you say that we are important to you. And God, I pray that you speak to each and every one of us right now and remind us that you are always with us and that you will never let us down. Amen. Amazing, Sarah. How great is it that God is never going to let us down? Now, we've got another song for you. It's a Focus Kids favourite, King of My Heart. So as we get ready to sing this song, I want everyone to stand up. That's right. Get everyone to stand up. Oh, you guys are doing some great standing up right now. Okay, so you might want to close your eyes so you don't get distracted. Or as Sarah said before, you might want to put your hands out in front of you like you're ready to receive something from God. Because how amazing is it that God hears every word we say. He hears it when we sing to Him and He loves it when we sing to Him. So good. Let the King of my heart be the mountain where Let the King of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life, oh, is my song. You are good, you're good, oh, you are good, you're good.
thank you, God, that you are never going to let us down. Thank you that you are so good and you are always with us. Amen. and I am so glad that you joined us today but I have one more challenge for you are you ready what I would like you to do as you're now on your summer holidays is I think you are all so kind and what we can do is write a letter or draw a picture and deliver it to our church because as you've seen the church is running an amazing love your neighbor campaign where we're giving out food and helping lots of people who are in need and I know that getting a message from you will brighten up someone's day so why not draw a picture write a letter send a postcard and take it to your church and then we're going to give them out to lots of people through the love your neighbor campaign and I think that's a way that focus kids can show a little bit of love to our a whole nation. How amazing is that? You are all world changers and you are going to do, make such a difference. And I can't wait to see you in Focus Kids 
2021. We're going to have the best time ever. But I've got my camping holiday to get on with now. So have an amazing summer and I'll see you later. Bye! Bye! <laughs>